Hello there, children. How are you today? Welcome to another fun learning week. Today, kids, we will learn about the basic about addition. Are you excited for that? Yeah! Great! Teacher Aya will teach you how to add properly. Let us begin now, kids. What is addition? First, let us understand what is it. As you can see, there are different numbers here. But what is addition, basically? It is putting numbers together. All the different numbers, you need to put them together and you will have the total of that numbers. And that's what you call addition. Now, these are the different symbols that we will use in addition. This is plus. So when you see this cross, you would say plus. This is equals. This is the symbol for equals. That means after that, you will have the answer in addition which is called the sum you say sum again let's name them you say plus equals and sum now we will begin adding objects we will use different pictures or objects for us to be able to add numbers quickly how many balls are there you say one ball plus one ball so as you can see there's one ball and another ball came now the question is how many balls are there together so all you have to do is count the numbers together let's put them together let's say one two that is the same as counting on so if this is one what's next to the one yes it's two so you'd say one and two now you would say equals two one plus one equals two now kids please understand that these two numbers or no matter how many numbers that you put together we call those addends you say addends and of course this answer here is called sum now let's have more examples two strawberries plus two more strawberries equals now what are we going to do let us count them together one two three four now here are they one two three four meaning two plus two equals four very good that is what you call horizontal addition or objects are arranged in slipping way okay now we will have more examples and this time another horizontal way of adding numbers three flowers one two three plus two more flowers one two so you got here two now how many flowers are there in all let's count them together one two three four five so now the answer is five very good so how did we do it we counted all the numbers or the objects together now let us add let us count the bears one two three plus one two three four five bears equals how many bears are there okay so that's three plus five equals eight very good this is vertical way of addition numbers or objects are arranged in a standing way then you call this vertical let's have some more examples so let's have three cupcakes plus three cupcakes equals we'll find out later three plus three equals let's count this on one two three four five six that's six now let me see if you got the lesson find the sum remember sum means answer in addition so we are going to put all the objects together so that we would find out the answer but this time kids teacher Ira will not put any object all we have to do is 
put the numbers together. If you cannot see any object, you can use your fingers in counting. One hand for the first number and another hand for the next number. And then you put them together and you would have your answer. Or you could put objects in your mind. Okay, let's begin. Zero plus one equals. Now, remember, when you have zero as one of the addends, listen very well, your answer would always be the other addend. That is not zero. So here in this case, zero plus one. So what's going to be your answer? Correct. It's the one. Okay, next. One plus one equals, so we can put objects in our mind like plus one apple, plus one apple, or you could use your finger, one plus one, you put them together, you would say one, two. Okay, so that is how you do it. So the answer is two. Okay, next, two plus three equals, two plus three equals one, two, and let's put the other number on the other hand, one, two, three. And then let's put them together. So we count on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the answer is five. The counting on is done this way. You don't have to count the two anymore. You would say two, and what's next number to two? Two, three, four, five. And the best way of doing it, kids, is to find the bigger number, which is bigger, two or three. Yes, it's the three. So you count on from three and then you add two. You would say three, four, five. That's another way of doing it. So now let's have another example. Now let's have one plus five equals. So you have one and then five here and then put them together. So let us count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Base. Or we count on, like from 5, what's next number to 5? Five? 5, 6. Because you will just add 1. So the answer is, of course, 6. Great, children. So this is the last one. 0 plus 7. So remember the rule, if we have 0 as one of the add-ins, what's going to be the answer? You don't have to count anymore. Yes, it's 7. Now let's have 4 plus 1 equals, so we have 4 plus 1, put them together, let us count them now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or we count on from 4, what's the next number to 4? That's 5, the answer is 5, very good. And let's go to the last item now kids, let's have 2 plus two. Whoa, two plus two. And then let's put them together. So let's think of an answer. We can count on by having two and what's next to two? Three, four. We can put objects in our mind or we can use our fingers. So what's your answer? Correct. It's four. So always remember, children, that addition is just easy. What we had just learned today is the basic of it. We said that addition is putting numbers together. And we can use objects to put together, or we can use our fingers if we want to, or we can count on. And we had a rule a while ago about zero. We said that when we have zero as one of the add-ins, that doesn't matter. The answer would always be the other add-in that is not zero. I hope that you had learned something today and don't forget that because next time I'll teach you the different ways, easier ways on how to add numbers. Bye for now. Thank you. God bless you.